Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind records into details view from SQL Server database. And here we got the final output. Notice we got the pagination at the bottom. And I click 2. So we got the employee ID to Sam, sam at gmail.com 3 10. You can set the page size also. Let's limit the page size. Let's switch to the source page. Page settings. Page button count is equals to 4. I'm rerunning the browser link again. And here we got the new output, we got the page numbers is 4. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Binding Details View. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Empty. Click OK. And the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. I click the project name, Add New Item. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is details view add. And here we got the source page of the details view. Now I'm adding a center tag between the form and due tag. Center H1 header tag. How to bind records from database into details view ASP.NET tutorials horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the details view go to toolbox I'm expanding the data folder here we got the details view I'm adding that one right click the mouse go to view code first thing in this code behind i'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data dot sql client using system.configuration after adding the namespaces the next step i am adding the database into server explorer open server explorer right click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. Test connection. Succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here the sam and here the selected database sample db.dbo is added under data connections. Now we need the data source of this sample db. For that, right click the button. Go to properties. In the properties connection string data source copy that one open solution explorer open web.config file now in the web.config file connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot sql client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind again in the page load event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one and paste here dot connection string sql connection sql con 
is equals to new SQL connection I have created an object for the SQL connection class now I am adding main con into this SQL connection string SQL query before writing the select statement let's visit SQL server management studio we check the table and the column names the table name is the employee which contains four columns ID name email and salary and I want to bind this employee table into details view so let's finish the rest of the code select start from I'm adding the table name dbo.employee copy that one paste here SQL command SQL com is equals new SQL command and SQL command takes two parameters first one is the SQL query which is a command text and the second parameter is a connection object SQL con let's open connection string SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com object data table DT is equals to new data table SGA dot fill method I'm filling the data table object call let's bind the table into details view details view one dot data source is equals to dt details view dot data bind let's close the connection string sql con dot close method let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that code the employee table is bounded into this details field by default if you notice it displays only one record so if you check my employee table I got more than one records so let's add the pagination stop debugging let's switch to the source code in the details view I'm adding a property allow paging is equals to true after adding this property switch to the design mode select the details view press F4 in the properties notice the fourth option is the events select that one and the last action which is a page index changing double click that one and here we got the page index changing event of the details view details view one dot page index is equals to e dot new page index after adding this code I'm creating a new method private void get employee details Now in this method I am adding this code, I am deleting this code, if not page dot is post back this dot I am adding the method get employee details dot get employee details method copy this one as well as I'm adding in this page index changing event also that's it I'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the final output notice we got the pagination at the bottom and I click 2 so we got the employee ID to Sam Sam at gmail.com 3 10 you can set the page size also let's limit the page size let's switch to the source page
page settings page button count is equals to 4 I'm rerunning the browser link again and here we got the new output we got the page numbers is 4 that's it